Hey, what's up, y'all? What it do? Welcome back to another episode of Get Tactical. It's your boy, DZ. Thank y'all for watching. All right, y'all, so real quick, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell what we're talking about today. If you've seen the title of the video, right? Gun ranges. More specifically, I'm going to be sharing with you guys tips to have a safe and fun experience while at the shooting range, all right? Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe, all right? So, guys, when it comes to gun safety, I'm going to just let you guys know I try my best, and I do mean my best. We all forget stuff, but I, but I always try my best to ensure that I'm following every safety protocol that I know, right? With that being said, that still has nothing to do with somebody who's inexperienced and somebody who's careless, right? Because some people out there are absolutely careless. I've seen some horrible stories. So with that being said, that's just that's just the truth, guys. There's some people out there who have way more experience than me, 20 plus years, right? But that has nothing to do with somebody who's inexperienced or careless, right? You guys need to be thinking about that, especially if you're a new shooter. So guys, when it comes to the range, when you're at the range, you guys need to have a good situational awareness. I always say this, I always say this, I can't stress it enough. Everywhere you go, you really need to have a good situational awareness, but especially at the range. It's a whole different environment. People are shooting guns, right? There's a lot more for that potential of an accident to happen. You guys need to be aware, okay? You need to be aware who's around you. Just because someone may look that they have experience, it could be their first time picking up a gun. It could be their first time going to the shooting range. You guys have no idea. Also, if it is your first time at the range, you definitely should be vigilant. You should be looking around. You should be asking questions, all right? And also, I'm going to touch on this as well. Uh, if it is your first time at the shooting range, I definitely would recommend going with somebody who has experience uh, with guns and gun safety, okay? Also, get comfortable with the gun before you go, all right? Learn how to operate it. Learn where the buttons are, you know, safety, uh, magazine release, stuff like that, okay? All right, guys, so when it comes to firearms and firearm safety, three basic rules, right? Fundamentals to safety, right, that you should always remember, okay? You got to be careful because if you neglect any of these three rules, you could increase your chances of having an accident with a firearm. So it's really important to never neglect these three, all right? And also, I do want to say, just in case I, I tend to talk over what I'm saying, uh, it's because these three rules, they kind of connect with each other, all right? So let's just jump in the mix, okay? Number one, you should always treat firearms as if they're loaded. What'd you say? You can't hear me? Okay. Number one, you should always treat firearms as if they're loaded. I'm going to say it one more time. You should always treat firearms as if they're loaded. People are like, what does that mean? Okay, that means this. If you go to grab a firearm, you need to check it, all right? You need to make sure it's not loaded visually, right, and physically. Take out the magazine, visually rack the slide back so you can look in the chamber to see if there's a bullet in there, right? Just like this. So... This Glock is empty. I don't have a magazine. If I did, it would have came out by now, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull back my slide, lock it in place, and I'm going to visually look. Oh, there's no round in here, right? No round in the chamber. By the way, this is your chamber right here. Nothing in there. You guys need to do that every time before handling a firearm. You always need to treat it as if it's loaded because you don't know if it's loaded until you check, all right? There's so many situations that happen. One famous specific one that I'm going to touch on is the Alec Baldwin situation. We all heard about that, right? Guys, always make sure when I always treat firearms as if they're loaded. And even if they're not loaded, you still treat them if they're loaded, okay? And um like I said, I I'm trying I'm going to try my best not to, you know, talk too much on this topic, but they all three do kind of connect with each other. Also, when you guys do pick up your gun to check it to see if it's loaded, Keep your finger off the trigger and point it in a safe direction. All right, guys, so number two, always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot, right? So let's just say you cleared your firearm. As we all know, this is clear, right? Does that mean you can just go ahead and put your finger on the trigger? No, 
because this person and that person and then that person right there, they don't know if this is loaded or not. For one, you don't want to give them a heart attack, but for two, you want to practice those good habits of keeping your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. So one comfortable way or one excellent way that you can do this is by keeping your finger on the outside of the trigger guard, okay? And I know this seems kind of self-explanatory, but you guys will be surprised on how often people neglect it, okay? Practice, just practice the habit of pointing your finger out like this, right? Just pointing it like this. So naturally, when you go to pick up a gun, you'll know to keep that finger out, right? And always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Even though we know it's not loaded, you still wanna practice these good habits, okay? Also guys, by keeping your finger on the outside of the trigger guard, you're practicing, um, actually you're conditioning yourself for that trigger discipline, okay? You're naturally gonna go right here. And this is where you wanna have your, your finger on the outside of the trigger until you're ready to shoot. So last but not least, okay guys, is always keep your firearm pointed in a safe direction, right? So what is a safe direction? Generally speaking, you never want to point the gun at yourself or anything you wouldn't want to destroy. So if you plan on visiting an indoor range, uh, it's best to keep the gun pointed down range, right? Which is gonna be in front of you, right? Everybody else is gonna be on side of you. You don't wanna go like this with your gun or that way or even behind you towards yourself, no. You want to point it down range especially if the weapon is hot now hot just means you know it's loaded ready to go these are just some uh, terms that we use in the firearm community okay but especially if the gun is hot you want to keep it pointed down range all right so and if anything ever happens guys and you guys are at the range let's say a malfunction you know a jam if anything happens that you're not prepared to handle the only thing you have to do is take your finger off the trigger Let's say this jammed right now, right? We all know this is unloaded, right? Let's just say this jammed. If you're an unexperienced shooter, what you're gonna do is take your finger off the trigger and just place the weapon down. Place your firearm right in front of you and then, hey, I need some assistance, can you come help? That's the best way to do it. Do not, and I repeat, do not turn around with a loaded weapon. That's the quickest way to get kicked out of the gun range or the quickest way to make somebody right next to you shit on themselves. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's frightening, right? Because they don't know what you're doing, especially if you turn around like this, hey, or hey, right? Especially if you just got done shooting it, they're gonna think, what the hell is wrong with this person? You know what I'm saying? So on a serious note, guys, one careless move could cost you everything or it could cost someone else everything, right? You gotta just think about that, all right? Any malfunctions, something that you're not prepared to handle. Let's say, you know, squib low goes off or just a jam, you know, something that you're not really used to. Or you get, you feel like the, the uh, gunpowder coming back in your face, you know. And if it freaks you out, take your finger off the trigger for one. And then just place the firearm down. That's all you got to do. All right, guys. So now that you guys have the basics down packed, all right, remember, have a little fun. Okay, that's what we're there for. That's what we're shooting at the range. It is fun, you know, it's exciting, right? Challenge yourself to improve your accuracy, guys, at different distances, but be patient with yourself, okay? Your accuracy will develop over time. Um, the more you shoot, the better, right? You're gonna get better. That's how it always is. Start off slowly, but gradually, right? Uh, you can even have a friend, you know, or someone record you, so that way you can have footage for later to see your progress and to track your progress, guys. But just remember, have fun but you do wanna make sure that you're being safe. Uh, lastly, guys, if you notice that someone is doing some of the unsafe things that we spoke about earlier, I definitely will recommend saying something, right? So right off the bat, I'm not saying, you know, critique everybody's uh, shooting style, right? Or point out every single flaw, because like I said, sometimes I forget stuff too. But if it's something that makes you feel uncomfortable, or if it's something that's gonna put somebody else's life in danger, or their life in danger, I definitely would recommend saying something. And we're all grown-ups here, all right? Fuck all that snitch talk. Fuck all that, oh, he's a pussy talk. No. I would rather someone uh, spot someone's bad behavior when they're handling a firearm and tell one of those little range officers so that way they can get that person out of there, right? Then I'd, I'd rather that happen than me getting a bullet in my head 
Well, I would rather that happen than watching someone I know get hurt, right? Come on, guys. There's some people out there that is, that's careless. And this is the main reason why I made this video, right? So many examples I've seen. There's a person, there's a, two dudes at the gun range, right? One person, he's a, must have been his first time shooting a gun. He has a gun like this, right? He has a gun like this, and he's pointing at the camera. And then his friend walks up right beside him. And then he goes like this, and he points the gun right at his head. The range officer saw him, grabbed his gun, told him to leave, right? Rightfully so, because anything could have happened, man. He could have accidentally pulled that trigger from being so excited or just trying to take a good picture, and then bam, blew his friend's fucking head off, right? Or there's another situation I've seen. Um, you know, there's a guy at the shooting range, pop, 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 shooting a couple shots, and then he looks down at his firearm like this, and he's looking at it. And it's so cringy to watch because you know something's gonna happen, you know something bad's gonna happen. And then he accidentally shoots his hat. His hat flew off. Inches away from his head. He could have killed himself, right? Um, and the reason why I'm making this video, guys, is so that way, so that you can spot some of this stuff happening, hopefully to prevent anything like that from happening. And hopefully, if you're somebody that is inexperienced, you seek out the right training, the right guidance, so that way you can have a fun experience at the shooting range, okay? All right, guys, so that's all I got for you. Some tips from your boy on how you guys can have a better shooting range experience. If this works for you, go ahead and drop a like. If it does work, drop a comment, right? Or if you guys have similar experiences like that at the range, go ahead and drop a comment, let me know. If you know somebody who can benefit from this information, you need to share it with them. It could possibly help save their life one day. That's all, guys. Catch me on the next one. You already know who it is. Your boy, DZ, signing off for another video. And remember, y'all, if y'all have to, stay vigilant out there for sure. But if you have to, get tactical.